Of course, to my amazing people, my name is Edgo the Ambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. If you are first tuning in hapa ndani ya Durgas TV, hakikisha kwamba unapata kusubscribe to this amazing YouTube channel ili upate updates every now and then. Now, uh, today guys, I'm, I'm really really sorry na ani uchungu sana kwa ni uh, uh, ni uh, tumainio ama pia ni zile lengo ambazo watu pia wamepata kuziweka pale ya kwamba wanapotoka maeneo za Kenya kuelekea nchi za ugaibuni ni kwamba wanapata kujikimu na pia kujitafutia riziki na pia kwa familia zao hapa nchini Kenya Aviv, uh, visa zinapata kutokea wasichana wanapata kufariki na kwa kweli ni uchungu sana kwa familia kwani wanakuaga tu wameacha pengo kubwa sana pale kwa familia leo hii niko na uzuni sana kutangaza kifo cha aliyekuwa msichana ambaye alienda kujituma sana anajulikana kama uh, venerenda mahakwe venerenda mahakwe anatoka maeneo ya zamumia according to the report ambazo nimepata kupa, uh, kupokea kuhusiana na kifo chake uh, venerenda mahakwe anatoka maeneo ya zamumia nao Akifo chake imepata kutatanisha sana na pia kuna watu ambao wanahisi kwamba je wangetaka kufahamu je ni chanzo na kini cha kifo chake ilikuwa ni nini I personally need uh, nimeamua kuhakikisha kwamba najaribu uh, kuangalia kwa undani na pia kuhakikisha kwamba napata kuwaletea ripoti ambazo kwa kweli ni zamana kuhusiana na kifo chake kuna wengi wangetaka pia kufahamu je alifariki akiwa aligani ama je alikuwa mgonjwa Hizo ni swali ambazo najua so far watu wanapata kujiuliza. Uh, venera, veneranda, veneranda mahakwe anasemekana uh, kwamba anatoka maeneo za Mumias na alielekea maeneo za Saudia kwa minaji letu ya kupambana kama wale wanawake wengine. Akifo uh, chake imepata kushtua wengi kwani inasemekana kwamba baada ya kazi yake ambayo alipata kumaliza And kabla nifike tu hapo inasemekana kwamba huyu mwanadada alikuwa amekaribia ama kama si kukaribia ni kwamba alikuwa amemaliza contract na so far alikuwa ameongeza tu uh, siku kadhaa hivi kidogo na apate kurudi maeneo za kwao nyumbani kwani uh, baada tu ya kupambana kwa hizo siku zote alikuwa sasa najua kwamba uh, uh, yatafika tamati na atakuwa narudi nyumbani kwa minaji ya kupatana na pia na familia yake wakiwa pale maeneo za Kenya a uh, venera, veneranda veneranda inasemekana kwamba akifo chake ilitokea that is on friday alipata kufanya kazi kama kawaida na baada ya kufanya kazi akawa amechoka na akasema kwamba ni wakati wa kwenda kulala acha saa leo nikapumzike so on friday baada ya kufanya kazi alikuwa ameenda kulala on saturday ndio siku ambayo mwili wake ulipatikana tu pale kwenye kitanda tu akiwa amelala hivyo hivyo tu jinsi alivyoenda kulala hakuwa yamka na kapatikana tu amelala pale pale alikuwa ashatuacha nao nimeamua kufanya tu upekuzi kidogo kuhusiana na kifo chake kwa sababu ni kifo cha kutatanisha sana na nilipokuwa nikiangalia sana kwa sababu she is one of the ladies ambayo pia amepata kunifollow pale kwenye TikTok anajiita sana Valdlik uh, Valdlik 8 anajiita Vald, uh, Val Valdlik 8 jina ambayo unapata kuona hapo kwenye screen. So I decided also just to follow her. Nihakikishe niangalie je, amekuwa kifanya nini sana pale kwenye TikTok. Now, nilipokuwa naangalia pale kwenye TikTok kabla ya kifo chake ni kwamba alipata ku post video fulani pale kwenye TikTok na akasema hivi aka, akawa anaimbia mama yake mzazi kwa au kwa kujaribu kums, uh, kumsifu mama yake mzazi kwa kazi nzuri ambayo alipata kufanya. Hiyo ilikuwa ni tarehe kumi mwezi wa kumi uh, 2023 alipata uh, tarehe 15 tarehe 15 mwezi wa kumi 2023 alipata kufanya video pale akiwa ameka picha ya mama yake pale akiwa anamwimbia tu nyimbo za kwa ki, za kupeana uh, gani kumpa mama yake uh, furaha the other thing i want to say ni kwamba uh, ni mu, uh, 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 veneranda alikuwa amefanya video alikuwa anafanya videos and most of these videos ukijaribu kuangalia kwa undani sana there is a kind of message so far kama ni mtu ambaye anapata kufanya analysis alikuwa akielezea now nilipokuwa bado naendelea kufanya uchunguzi wangu na kuhakikisha kwamba napakua ndani sana on 10th mwezi wa kumi, tarehe kumi mwezi wa kumi, 2023 mm. alienda pale kwenye mitandao na kaandika hivi a uh, what can not kill you make you stronger alipata kuandika pale kwenye mitandao na kaanzika kwamba uh, what can uh, what can not kill you make you stronger so hizi vitu ni vitu ambavyo alikuwa akiandika pale so most of the people normally if you guys you want to check this out ni kwamba 
alikuwa akijaribu kuelezea changamoto sometimes ambazo anapata kupitia pale. Atakupata sijapata kuchoka sana uh, when I was doing my analysis nilienda tena nikaangalia ni kwamba uh, tarehe tisa, tarehe tisa, uh, tarehe tatu, mwezi wa tisa, alipata kuimba wimbo fulani aka, akawa ana dedicate kwa kazi ambayo amepata kujituma mpaka sasa hivi amefika tamati ya uh, kazi yani yani uh, ame come to an end ile contract yake sasa imepata inapata kuisha na anafurahia sana so alikuwa ki dedicate zile songs anajaribu kuimba pale akijipa matumaini na kusema kwamba kwa kweli nimepata kupambana so akapata kufanya ngoma fulani pale hiyo tarehe atat Uh, tarehe tatu mwezi wa tisa 2023 akiwa tu ana dance pale nobody knows exactly if kila kitu ilikuwa sawa now the other thing ambayo pia nikifanya tu upelelezi wangu tu pale ndani ya TikTok yake ni kwamba nilikuja kugundua ni kwamba uh, tarehe 27 mwezi wa saba 2023 2023 tarehe 27 mwezi wa saba 2023 aliona pale kwenye mitandao yake na akaandika hivi uh, akaandika hivi Yaani vile Waiguru alianza 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 a story at kindly renew your contract I will raise your salary from January home akaandika hivi home in Zoe Dreisfeld reloaded Now you guys you see kwamba aliandika pale alisema kwamba according to yeye anasema kwamba Waiguru alikuwa akijaribu kumwambia ni kwamba apate ku renew contract lakini yeye akasema kwamba Uh, akasema kwamba ye January lazima apate kufika nyumba nyumbani. So most of these things ambayo nimekuwa nikijaribu kuangalia pale and then the other thing akaandika tarehe tatu mwezi wa sita 2023. This is the first time ali introduce na kusema kwamba kwa kweli contract yake inapata kuja kufika tamati. Tarehe tatu mwezi wa sita 2023 aliandika hivi pale. Ali 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 ali, ali, ali aliandika pale ka feeling ka home soon. You see? Aka, akawa na, anacheza dance pale akisema kwamba ka feeling uh, ka ku come home soon now guys eh? uh, our sister ni mtu ambaye pia alipata tu kwenda kujituma kama wale wasichana wengine na kujua kwamba uh, haya atapata kufanyika mm, mahakwe ama that is uh, uh, veneranda alikuwa na ana, ana matumaini kwamba ataenda kujituma aenda fanye kazi kama wale wasichana wengine and as you can see ni kwamba ukijaribu kuangalia pale kwenye TikTok yake ni kwamba alikuwa anajua kwamba tayari uh, anakuja to an end of the uh, inaitwa contract yake ilikuwa inapata kuisha lakini most of the things ni kwamba mambo yakawa somehow haijaenda poa sana the other thing nataka niseme kwamba guys it is not always good ku uh, if you uko kwa contract na contract yako is almost ama uko karibu kumaliza contract si vyema sana kuwa unaambia una, una watu unaambia watu mimi tayari na kuja contract yangu inaisha because uh, uh, when i look at uh, veneranda veneranda alianza kupost kitambo sana akawa and when you look at ni kwamba video zake zote alikuwa ni kama kuna message alikuwa anajaribu kuelezea watu hakuna uh, being strong is always the what like unaona ni kama ni mtu ambaye alikuwa anajua exactly what she was going through. Meanwhile hatuwezi sema hatujui uh, chanzo na kini cha kifo chake ni kwamba inasemekana tu kwamba tu alienda kulala na baadaye kulala ni kwamba akapata kufariki asubuhi yake eh, come on Saturday akapatikana pale akuwa amefariki. The family back at home hivyo ndio habari ambayo sasa hivi wamepata kukumbana nayo. Hizo hmm? ndio habari ambayo so far amepata kukumbana nayo. So veneranda ni kwamba bado mwili wake huko maeneo za Saudi and also the family back at home kwa kweli. Najua kwamba upati goezi weza hii yote kuwa kiwa peke yao. Guys, let's stand with the family is if any possibly way to kuwa tuna support familia kwa kuhakikisha kwamba mwili wake veneranda imepata imepata kufika maeneo za mumias ama uh, mumias kuwa nyumbani na umepata kuziku. It is not always possible kufanya kitu kiwa peke yako. Ameshapata kutuacha, ameshapata kutuacha. She happens to follow me pale ndani ya TikTok, anajulikana kama uh, Valdik uh, Valdikik eh? Valdikik 8, Valdikik 8. Amepata kunifollow pale lakini so far anaweza sema kwamba it is not always easy for people. Imagine umepata kush, umepata kungangana. You have tried your level best to push, me push, but at the end of it instead of us celebrating kwamba umepata kumaliza, umepata kurudi nyumbani, now unapata tu kufariki. 
this lady akwai complain kwamba yeye ni mgonjwa according to the analysis and also the report ambazo nilipatana nazo ni kwamba uh, veneranda akwai pata uh, kusema kwamba yeye oh, ye ni mgonjwa alikuwa bueri wa afya alikuwa akifanya kazi yake akifanya kitu video zake pale kwenye TikTok mpaka the last video ambayo alipata kufanya alikuwa anaidedicate to mamake akimsifu kwa kazi nzuri na kumlinda all the way kutokea utotoni mpaka mahali ambayo alipata kufika it is so painful guys ni uchungu sana kwani She's somebody uh, personally mwenye alikuwa anajua exactly the reason as to why alikuwa anapata kujituma. But unfortunately amepata kufariki akiwa bado anatumaini ya kwamba atakuwa anapambana aendeleze shughuli zake ambazo so far sometimes zimekuwa pending. Guys, as just an information mimi ningeomba sana. It is not always good kuambia watu oh, you are posting to people oh, a feeling or oh, I'm going home because me personally I don't feel kwa sababu kila kitu iko na sababu yake. Hmm? The only thing naweza sema so far ni kwamba we are really sending our condolences kwa familia yake other is veneranda mahaku ni kwamba kila kitu amungu azidi kulinda familia yake uh, uh, mungu atete kama alikuwa na watoto je mungu pia aendelee kuwalinda hii majuzi tu tumekuwa na issue ama tumekuwa na pia mambolezi ya uwanja ambaye pia aliwacha watoto wake it is so painful wazazi it is so so painful binafsi kwa ma, wale marafiki ambao pia wanamfahamu na we are really sending our condolences Mungu azidi kuwalinda awapatie nguvu kila kitu ikuwe shwari na muendelee kupambana every now and then I goes by the name of Godiambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi Kenya thank you for always tuning in to this amazing YouTube channel make sure unpata ku subscribe to this my amazing channel kila saa na hapo achilia video unakuwa kwanza kupata kutazama and always guys thank you for always supporting me na washukuru sana stay here for more updates